Hello everyone and welcome back to the 3D printer filament maker. This is part 6 where we'll be doing the testing and filament making video. So for projects like this, safety is first, so grab your safety goggles and let's start. So first I'm going to test each of the individual systems. So first I'm going to grab a micro USB cable, plug it into my STM32 device, and as we can see it powers on so we know that part is working we can see here that the temperature is fluctuating quite a bit that is because of the nonlinear temperature reading that we talked about in a previous video so next i'll get the power cables from my power supply this is 12 volts dc and it's going to be powering the fet modules which control the motor and heater As you can see here, 12 volts DC and it's powering at about 5 amps maximum. As soon as we turn on the power supply, you can see that the heater starts to heat up right away. And then upon turning the motor on, we can see that the motor works as well. So now that we've tested the machine, let's get on to cutting up the bottle so we can make the filament. So this is the bottle I'm going to be using. It's a black cherry soda bottle. First thing we do is take the wrapper off. Next we cut the bottom off of the bottle. And finally we cut a very small strip on the bottom so that we can feed it through the nozzle easily. So now that we have the bottle prepared, we are going to now move on to cutting these strips. So this was supposed to be the easiest part of the project, but ironically I was having the most difficult time of doing it. Every time I tried to make something to cut the bottle, I kept having failures. So this is one of the failures. As you can see here, the razor blade kind of broke. So I guess the razor blade ended up flexing a little bit too much and broke into two pieces. I ended up cutting myself as well a little bit, so be careful. So since that method didn't work, we're obviously going to have to try something else. So here I use four bottle caps from a lemon juice bottle to try to keep the razor blade from flexing and keep it in a straight line. So this was quite a bit sturdier, as you can see, however I left too much of a gap between the bottle caps so that the plastic could actually go through, get cut, and then it could curl up a little bit so that it would make a wider strip. So we really need something a little bit more narrow than this. Here is the third iteration, and it works a lot better. I put the bottle caps a lot closer together so it held down the razor blade and did a good job at making smaller strips but it was very difficult to be pushing down at the bottle and pulling the strip at the same time I've seen videos of people putting weight weights on the top and I can now understand why because you have to be pushing down at the same time to make sure that the bottle feeds into the razor correctly So here we have the result with the bottle, you can see it was cut into small strips and we have quite a bit of it. So now that we have the bottle strips, we can actually test the machine and see how it can actually make filament. So here you can see me trying to set everything up. I'm going to be placing the bottle with this small cutout through the nozzle, which I failed to do the first time because 
you have to at the same time grab it from the other end before it melts onto the nozzle and pull it through so you gotta kind of do it quickly it's also better if you set the temperature lower while you're doing this and then turn it up afterwards so as you can see i have it at 200 right now but when i'm actually doing the film and i set it to around 220 which works a lot better as you can see i just recut it again because the nozzle kind of melted into it so here you can see me yanking it through i actually got it successfully this time and i'll have to pull it through the nozzle enough to so that i can tie it to this little hook there and i'll turn the motor on and start pulling it through with that so it is kind of hard to pull it through this nozzle so i'm going to speed it up so here you can see me trying to tie it together it's kind of hard because the filament is actually kind of rigid so trying to tie something rigid in a knot is kind of difficult but I just get two pliers and tie it in a knot and after that I'm going to turn on the motor so that we can let the machine do the work so now I turn on the motor so I can increase the tension so basically all that's left to do now is just turn off the motor and let it do it by itself. I'm also going to reposition this strips here so that it doesn't get too loose or it doesn't accidentally touch the nozzle and then melt to itself. This actually took quite a long time so I'm going to speed it up to 100x so you can see the process. So I stopped it at about halfway through. The motor was beginning to skip teeth on the gears because the filament was becoming harder to pull through. As you can see here, the filament kind of curls in on itself and makes a C rather than being solid all the way through. So I will be making more filament and then testing it being printed in the next video. Uh, I'm gonna unroll it here for you guys to see how much was made with about a little bit more than half of the bottle. So here's the mount that was made today. Like I said, I'm going to be making a little bit more filament so that we can test it in the next video. But it is quite a process to get filament through out of bottles. My motor mechanism kept skipping teeth, so that was an issue. I kind of had to attend to it every minute or so to get it back on track. And it, is, it does take a lot of force to get that filament through the nozzle so it was kind of an issue in that sense but it was a fun project and i don't really regret doing anything even though it's probably easier to buy a filament on amazon nonetheless i learned a lot and i hope you did from watching this video so thank you for watching and i hope it helped have a good day